Now we have AB of Japan. This is the 66 kilo category. And the third round, and from Kazakhstan, we have Mulin. Now, I don't know much about either of these fighters, I must confess. Well, I think with the Japanese, they've got a, a mixture, but they've got some very young athletes coming young through. Athletes so coming out, yeah. I think they're doing, I think like most countries here that are, are participating, there's a, a bit of a mix. Mm. They've got some ex experienced athletes, and then they've got quite a few young ones coming through. And um, this is their their first exposure i should mm. say most probably to get themselves on the olympic r ranking list the world ranking list get the points up because as you know it's vital isn't it it is vital those points make a difference when it comes to the draws absolutely Thanks being seated in an event like this is just i mean it can make the difference between it losing in round three oh, and, and making it into the metal rounds you know it's like getting your first fight or getting you halfway through <laughs> yeah exactly i'd rather have you halfway through near the finals or something like that on the complete opposite side and i'm sure most athletes were going please <laughs> <laughs> but that's the advantage you've got of being a top seed. Absolutely. <laughs> Next fight on 31, the third round for a man on the 66 kilogram. Well, I'll be there with one Wazari. See, I found that this is the one thing I've been with the, the new rules with the grip. Yeah. You can have a pistol grip as yeah. long as you use it. Yeah. But for me, and, and you most probably feel this as well, as an athlete, you know that you can manipulate that in certain ways. Oh, absolutely. So if someone's got a pistol grip on you, really, what would you do? You'd drop your arms to the ground as yeah. if you'd been drawn down yeah. rather than yeah. actually trying and pulling it away. Yeah. Because that's what would be perceived from the referee as being negative. Right from the one who's got the pistol grip. Right. The same way as the pushing or mm -hmm. stepping out mm -hmm. of the contest area. That is such a tough rule for me. I mean, really, how do you... How can you work that one out? How do you decide? If you're a drama queen, you can throw yourself out. Right. And the other one gets the penalty <laughs> right. for it. It's right. a difficult one. I, I haven't c come across it yet, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time because athletes are clever. They'll work these rules <laughs> to are. make sure that they, that percentage goes their way. Absolutely. And the thing is, too, even when you're holding a pistol... Oh, oh that's beautiful. lovely. Like the old soda into the... the <laughs> like a soda. Like, yeah, soda he has a beautiful, beautiful soda. So yeah. I think he went from like a soda grip into a soda. That was really nice. That was lovely. Yeah, that's the sort of the one, the stepping, the ste stepping out and the pushing out. I think there will be really a little, it will yeah. be a little bit of dramatic going on there. I think one or two athletes will be able to play that one <laughs> very, very well. We have those, we have a couple judo players who think they're footballers. Exactly.